Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm finally back with my with my list for the fall fragrances of 2024. Yes, I was wondering whether to do it, but uh, that's why it hasn't arrived sooner. Uh, but yeah, I decided now to do it after all. Uh, waiting for something else eventually for an next purchase so uh, four of these feature here I only have so far as samples so yeah I hope Park Cell will forgive me for that <laughs> all right uh, so yeah full perfumes or fragrances we know what it means, you know, something that is strong enough to, to, to last in the colder weather and that can really, you know, make you noticed as well. So we are thinking along the line of strong, stronger, sweeter or some other type of aroma. It must be strong anyway, for sure. All right, first off is, uh, well, let's say, uh, crowd pleasing one that many like spice bomb infrared the edt version yeah so this is a this one has you know as far as i remember notes of uh, tobacco and uh, also <coughs> let me pull it up because i still don't remember so well <laughs> uh it is it is sweet, but kind of tobacco-ish sweet. It's got some red fruits, yeah, that's right. And uh, cinnamon and red pepper. Yeah, when you hear cinnamon, you instantly think, you know, fall. <laughs> so it's got pink pepper and benzoin, and yeah. So this one is kind of easy to like but yeah it is a typical cold weather scent you know it doesn't work well in the heat or during the the warmer spring months yeah in spice bone for red ET and I still haven't tried the EDP version by the way <laughs> I know that my friend Ross likes it very much all right then uh, we have uh, another kind of designer type scent uh, here, one million elixir, yes. And uh, this one I did uh, bought for not that long ago, not so long ago. Uh, so this is another kind of sweet, strong, spicy, yeah, fragrance, and uh, it is just you know. Uh, kind of easy to like you know I guess of course I can see some people not liking it uh, as well but uh, I I like it for sure it is a little tad too sweet I guess the sweetness comes from the combination of apple and, and rose yeah probably and some vanilla absolute in the bottom there so uh, yeah i would only recommend this for people who do enjoy sweet fragrances for sure otherwise you won't, won't like it yet one million elixir yeah all right and then uh, i'll do first i guess i could do the bottles first and then <laughs> the samples maybe i don't know, we'll see and the next one, this one I've had for a while, it was a very challenging buy. I mean, I didn't like it that much at first. I liked it on the strip, you know, but uh, when I started, when I got home and got the bottle, yeah, it took some time. This is Carlisle by Parfums de Mali. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I remember this one has a... Uh, notes of nutmeg um, it's got even I think a little of, it's got woody notes and it's got uh, some actually I think some apple in it isn't it so um, yeah and uh, what else let's see it's tonka bean green apple that's true saffron 
some rules even that I don't really pick up and patchouli and vanilla. Yeah, the vanilla is very pronounced here, definitely. And that's what one of the reasons why I like it because without the vanilla, I don't think I would like it. I don't really enjoy it, you know, dark, smoky, woody scents, really, you know, but this with the vanilla and stuff like that, I can enjoy it. <laughs> So, Carlisle, um, all right, then yet another designer scent. This is Boss the Scent Elixir, and uh, so yeah, this is kind of the, the full version of uh, Boss Bottle Elixir, which is more like a milder kind of type scent, more suitable for a little warmer weather, I guess. But uh, the scent elixir is really strong. I have also tried the female version and I thought it was nice. But uh, yeah, what I really like this about this is the opening. Uh, the dry down in the dry down it gets you know very kind of woody and uh, spicy and very different. Uh, but I guess that is the the point and that that, that is why this is such a good fall full weather scent definitely yeah boss the scent elixir yep and then finally uh the last one of, but not least of the bottles that i got it is uh triumph of bacchus yeah by argos yeah well triumph of bacchus is a very kind of gourmand dish uh, a little boozy, a little fruity, and a little tobacco -y scent. And uh, I have already featured it in several several lists, so you know, here yeah, yeah, I have said quite a lot. I will not waste my time in describing the ingredients <laughs> or listing all the ingredients, but uh, it is a scent that is best uh, when you put it on your skin. When I close it, I don't really enjoy it as much as on the skin, that's all I can tell you. And it is also very good for winter as well, so... Uh, yeah, and, and you can also use it in the early spring very well. So yeah, Triumph of Bacchus, that's a, this is just a classic and uh, the one that everybody seems to love by Argos like it is very really universally loved and appreciated yep and then we go to the samples <laughs> well first of all this is I got one by Killian and three by Electums uh, as you know I recently really got into that house and yeah I bought a sample set so this one is Black Phantom by Killian. Yeah, it's uh, like a coffee kind of coffee rum and uh, yeah, uh, some woody, woody stuff in it, <laughs> and actually cyanide, which is really special and unusual. It's got also dark chocolate. Yeah. And almond and caramel, sugar cane, sandals, and uh, there. Yeah. Alright. So, this is uh, really a delight for people who like Gourmandy scents. And because it is a dark and very potent scent, it can be, it is, it is best worn actually during the colder months, during fall. Yes. Black Phantom by Killian, yeah. And then Vanilla Edes, yeah. You know, you remember a while ago I put this on my list as uh, one of my least favorites, but since then I've kind of changed my mind, you know, because there is something good about it. But yeah, because it is very strong, very strong. It it is best worn or. I would only recommend it during the cold months, definitely. Vanilla Desia. It is just sweet and uh, very potent kind of scent. Uh, 
and uh, well I can I guess bring out the details as well but uh, yeah frankincense heliotrope pink pepper mandarin orange and yeah coming coming cinnamon coriander rose yeah there's a lot of a lot of different notes but it, the one that you feel the most is the vanilla of course as the name says so yeah a very opulent kind of scent um yeah also i guess best worn on the skin so that's vanilla i guess yeah and then we have uh, the next one is uh, v vc leather yeah i included this one because you know uh, it is so strong yeah course leather you know when you think of leather since you think of fall and winter <laughs> as simple as that so yeah I like I quite like and enjoy it and it is uh, it's just a very kind of masculine scent masculine yep but also it's got some sweetness in it it's got a little bit even Gourmandish quality. Yeah, it is pretty delicious. Yes. Alright, that's VC leather. And finally, we got Gladiator Wood. So this one I really wanna I'm anxious to find out what it has, what it contains. Alright, saffron and coming in top notes, then you got hay, <laughs> immortal honey, geranium. The mill and agar wood on the wrist, patchouli, mm. vetiver. So, uh, yeah, gladiator wood. Um, I have worn this, I actually wore it uh, now in the in the summer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you should not do that, it doesn't really, you know, doesn't give the, the best results, but uh. Yeah, I mean, uh, during the fall, it is, it is just, I guess, perfect. So uh, yeah, glad it through. Those were my, my nine, I guess, full scents, and I hope you will enjoy this video, and I'll see you soon, right?